All right, what's up guys? So this is going to be a complete overview of Shopify email marketing for your e-commerce store. So this video is going to more so be taking a look at the theory and the types of emails that you're going to be sending. So we're not gonna actually be creating emails in this video. Instead, I'm going to be giving you a huge outline as you can see right here of all the different emails you would be sending. So um, essentially by the end of this video, you'll know every type of email that you need to set up in order to have your email marketing running as good as it can possibly be. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And if we zoom in and we come up here, we can see that I've broken this into four primary categories here of emails. We have confirmation emails, abandoned cart sequences, post-purchase upsells, and then the newsletter, which as you saw is pretty big. So we're gonna be covering this from left to right so we're going to save the biggest for the last, and that's gonna be the most important one, so definitely stay tuned for that. So first off right here, we're going to have confirmation emails. So th there's two types of confirmation emails we can see right here. So there's gonna be order confirmations and shipping confirmations, and these are the easiest types of emails to set up because they're pretty much automatic. So we can see for the order confirmation, these are sent automatically through Shopify and they let your customer know that you have received their order and preparing it for shipment. So like I said, this one's automatically sent through Shopify. So you really don't have to do much to set this up, but you can go ahead and customize it within Shopify. The next one here is the shipping confirmation. So these are sent automatically through Shopify as well. And they alert your customer that the order has been shipped. And normally it's going to include the tracking information as well. So like I said, these are sent through Shopify or you can use third party apps such as Aftership for these. But in this case, normally it's easier to just go ahead and use the Shopify automated emails for the confirmations. So now we're gonna look at the second category of emails which is the abandoned cart sequence. And this is where we start getting into some of the better content because like I said, I didn't wanna leave these out because uh, they're necessary, but they're automatic. So it's pretty easy. So we don't need to spend much time on them. So your abandoned cart sequence is going to include one to three emails. And the primary purpose of these emails is to get website visitors that were on your store and added something to cart, but they didn't complete the checkout to go ahead and come back to your store and complete their purchase. So these emails are normally going to have things like discount codes or other forms of incentives to try and get the customer to come back and complete their order. And the timing with these um, you can uh, split it up between different timings. So if you have three uh, abandoned cart email follow-ups, for example, you could send one after 15 minutes of abandoned cart and then one four hours later, and then the third one 24 hours later. But you can mess around and split test with these different timings as well. But this is one of the most important parts of the email marketing to set up because you can recover a large percentage of your sales just by setting up this automated sequence um, right here. So make sure that you set up the abandoned cart sequence. This is going to, like I said, include one to three emails. Um, two is sometimes a sweet spot, but you can split test the performance between one to three and see how the different numbers work for you. And uh, by the way, like I said, uh, this video is going to be pretty much just the theory only telling you um, how, telling you what emails you need to go ahead and have in your back end. But if you do want a specific video showing like how to write these emails out or how to create the emails like a more specific tutorial, then go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. But this video is just gonna serve as an overview so that way you know the types of emails that you need. So the next type of email right here is going to be the post purchase upsell. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty simple, it's just one email. And this is one email sent a couple days after a customer has completed a purchase. And in this email, you go ahead and try to sell them a related product or upsell. And you can perhaps include a discount in here as well. So the purpose of this email is to try and generate more revenue off of someone that already bought. Because if someone already uh, bought from you once, then they're gonna be more likely to buy from you again than somebody that is completely cold. So this is trying to take advantage of that aspect right here. But this email is more so optional. You don't have to have a post-purchase upsell, but it's just something that you can um, definitely set up within your email marketing. And then right here, uh, the abandoned cart is absolutely necessary though. So now we're gonna jump 
into the newsletter, which as you can see, is pretty big. So this might take a little bit longer to go ahead and cover. And just a quick thing to note, if you are wondering how you can set all of this stuff up, if it looks confusing, you can actually set this all up within a single email, email marketing app. I normally recommend Klaviyo, they're really good. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to them in the description. So as far as the newsletter, we have two ways that people are going to be entering your newsletter most likely. And the first aspect of the newsletter is going to be automated, as I specified here. So the first way that someone can enter your newsletter is through pop-up signups. So this could be uh, by using like Privy or any apps where uh, there's a pop-up on your store and somebody enters their email for, say, like a discount code. So in this case, the first email that they would receive is an email containing the discount for sign-up. So that would be the email they receive right there. And if you're using an app, normally uh, you can create that email through a template and it's really easy to do so they would receive it so say if the pop-up was like sign up to our newsletter to get 10 percent off your first order then that's literally all this email would be is like thanks for signing up here's your 10 percent code that's it so that's the first way people would get on your newsletter the second way is through purchase signups so this is just people that have made purchases on your site and then they decided to opt into the newsletter as well so these are the two ways that you get people on your newsletter and once they're on your newsletter they're going to go ahead and be sent here to the welcome email sequence so this is part of the automated newsletter so the welcome email sequence is going to be completely automated so the first uh, part of the welcome email sequence is going to be the initial welcome email so this is going to be sent on day one so like one day after uh, somebody signs up to your email list so they make a purchase or they sign up to the pop-up uh, one day later once they're on the list you can send out the welcome email so the welcome email is going to be the initial email that people receive after signing up obviously and then typically a day or so after as we just mentioned and then this email isn't going to be selling anything it's more so just going to be a brief introduction to your brand, letting customers know a bit about your business and the type of content they can expect to receive on this newsletter. So depending on the type of store you have, what you're selling, and the type of content you plan to send out, you can go ahead and uh, describe that in here. And you can like briefly describe your business and so on and so forth. Uh, this is literally just a welcome email. You don't have to. Uh, you don't want to do any promos or anything in this. You just want to introduce people to your brand and get make them more likely to open uh, your additional emails moving forward. So the next um, email in the automated uh, welcome sequence is going to be a value email. So I put day three right here so you can send this out uh, two days after the welcome email. And I will say that you can put in more value emails if you want. This is just an example uh, template with the welcome, the value, and the promo. But if you want to throw in more values, you can. I just wanted to keep the template as simple as possible. So the value email, the second email in the sequence is going to contain uh, more about your brand and then also a piece of valuable content that your customer would be interested in. So a couple examples would be, let's say you sell tea, so you could send them content about a really good uh, tea recipe, uh, perhaps like a blog post you have on your store uh, that's about a tea recipe or maybe a video that you've created uh, showing how to make a certain type of tea. Or for example, if you sell fitness products, you could send them an example uh, workout plan, uh, you know, via blog post or video, like just the same as the previous example. So this is not going to be a promotion. This is going to be a value email. And the purpose of this is to get people to actually like and enjoy opening our emails. So that's why we want to send them actual useful content, not just immediately pitch them. And then the next email here is going to be the promo one. So we can see I put day five. So another day in between the value email and the promo email. So day five. So for example, like the welcome email can go out on a Monday, this on a Wednesday, and then this on a Friday. So the promo email is pretty self-explanatory. This one would contain a promotion. So you can promote one of your best selling products, maybe an upsell or a bundle, or maybe just give out a uh, one-time discount code here maybe a larger one because um, it's just going to be a one-time thing in your automated newsletter and that's it so this is where the promo would come in so hopefully at this point uh, people will open this email because we've sent them two emails of content that they like so ideally they'll be more likely to open up this email right here and then once they've went through this sequence 
people will now enter the manual section of your newsletter. So what I mean by manual is the automated sequence is done. They're done receiving automated emails. So at this point, they're only gonna receive um, manual newsletters that you decide to send off, send out on one-off occasions. So down here, we have a few types again. So uh, we have the same similar types as before, things you'd be sending out. So we have value emails. So we have engaging valuable content that your customers would actually be interested in. And this can be in text or video format. And like I said before, it doesn't have to be limited to the email itself. It can include links back to blog posts on your store, or it can include uh, links back to videos on your YouTube channel. And then the promo emails can be general promotions like we discussed before, or it can be promos related to a holiday. So like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, uh, et cetera, et cetera, or related to a certain time of year. So like a spring sale or something like that. And then you can also announce new products you've released, but make sure not to overdo it with the promo emails. So try to balance out uh, promos with value emails. So that way people stay on the email list and they stay engaged and want to keep opening up your emails. And then here in the middle, we have mixed. So a mixed email can serve kind of as a value and a promo all in one. So an example of this would be, let's say you have a fitness store and you have a blog post written on your store about a new workout routine. And in the email, you go ahead and link people, uh, you tell people about this blog post with the new workout routine and you link to it. And then in that blog post, you're also selling like, let's say resistance bands that are needed for the workout routine. So that's a way that you can kind of provide value and also uh, pull off a promo in the same um, email right here. And then the last one would be, the last type of email would be like general updates. So general info that your customer might need to know. So product update, updates, inventory, uh, just general updates around the business. So, so once people are on your newsletter at this point, you're going to be splitting between these four types of emails. Obviously the most common are gonna be the value and the promos and try and keep a good balance uh, between value emails and promo emails if you want to maximize uh, the amount of people that stay on your email list and actually enjoy opening your emails. So with that said, that is a 10,000 foot overview of what Shopify e-commerce email marketing will look like once you set it up completely. So like I said, we didn't get over, uh, we didn't cover how to actually set these up step by step in the store today because I just wanted to provide an overview of the types of emails that you need to go ahead and create because you kind of need a plan before you can actually start creating the individual emails. So with that said, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up and if you do want, um, some more in-depth videos about how to create these individual emails go ahead and let me know in the comments down below and like i said if you're looking for a platform or software that will let you create all of these emails all in one place i would recommend clavio i'll put a link to them in the description down below with that said give the video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more content and i'll see you in the next one